Hello and welcome to another day at Solar Cities. We are about to make some more food for the biogas system, but that's not what we want to talk about today. It is a nice hot day, so we are getting some gas production, which is good. But we want to talk today about our Schmutzdeck system, our slow sand filter. As you can see, the water that's going in is filthy. This is the water that comes out of the Schmutz, uh, the water that comes out of the biogas system, and it smells like horse manure. Hi, this is T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities, the Villa Culhane behind the camera. And today we're going to talk about a Schmutzdeck slow sand water filter and how it works. We're going to also look at ideas from uh, F.A. Hayek's The Road to Serfdom, which came out during World War II. And one of the things that Hayek warned about the most to keep us from being enslaved by forces of collectivism or uh, socialism gone bad was that we defend ourselves against the exploitation of ignorance. We want to prevent fraud and deception and the exploitation of ignorance. And when power holders have monopolies over information, they can exploit our ignorance. So part of what we're dedicated to here in Solar Cities is recreating the spirit of individualism and helping people to overcome any ignorance barriers that might keep them from doing stuff to further their own self-interest. We're very much Adam Smith around here, along with his book, The Theory of Moral Sentiments. Right now, we want to show you our experiments with this Schmutzdeck, which means dirty layer, water filter, and tell you what we've learned from it. We had started by taking our gray water, which came out of the shower and the bathtub and the sinks and the washing machine, and goes into this tank here. And every day we get plenty of it, and then that water goes into the toilet to flush the toilet because we think it's a crime to use drinking quality water to flush the toilet. And another part of it goes to water the garden and also to the water filter. We had a problem with the water filter though, and here's what it was. When we were using the gray water, anybody who's had experience with gray water knows that gray water smells bad. It's got that sort of fermented soap smell along with the sort of rotten perfumey smell and it really does smell bad and it's filled with bacteria so we were running it through this filter here but the water that we were getting out even though it looked clean still had that soapy fermented smell that sort of sour acrid smell like when you leave your clothes in the uh, washing machine too long so we figured it was a failure but now we've learned something more interesting. If we take that same water and put it in our biogas digester and let the anaerobic bacteria have at it, they create they create a a water which you can see here that is a rich fertilizer and it smells like like shice. It smells like horse dung, like horse manure because that's where the bacteria come from that started the system. And you must say this is certainly the dirtiest looking water that you've ever seen. And you would be right, it's pretty dirty. It certainly wouldn't want to fall into that. It really does reek. But if we take this and put this smelly, dirty brown water into the Schmutzdeck system and run it out, ironically what we get is clean water that has no smell. So the irony of taking what looked like clean water but had that soapy smell from the gray water and running it through the biogas digester and then letting it turn into this uh, microbe rich, very brown, very dirty water and running that through the Schmutzdeck system actually gives us a superior quality water with no smell. So the interesting thing is, is that if you use anaerobic bacteria as your friend, apparently what it's doing is breaking down some of these other compounds that are in the gray water, further breaking them down, and then what the Schmutzdeck system does, you can see it's clear water coming out, what the Schmutzdeck system does is it actually traps all that and then eats all of those bad bacteria and even eliminates that smell. So it's quite a finding for us. Let's just take a look for a second at what's inside the Schmutzdeck system. 
Here we just have a little screen to show you just how dirty the water going in really is. And in here, there it is. This is the filthy water that is being fertilized. There's some tiles here just to keep the water that's going in from disturbing the bacteria and fungi and algae and protozoans that live at the top of this. And the rest is just sand, 75 centimeters of sand. That's all it is. And then there's some gravel down here and some larger stones and a tube. That's all it is, sand and a tube. But look at what you get out. You get out clean water with no smell. Now, we wouldn't recommend drinking this. We're not gonna recommend bathing in this, but certainly it can be used to clean floors. And when we do a bacterial analysis, we just don't have the equipment yet to do it, then we'll see what other uses this water can be taken for. But this just shows the system preferred now is gray water to biogas digester, biogas digester effluent, which can be used as a fertilizer, and then into the Schmutzdeck system, slow sand filter, and out comes pretty clean water. Thanks for Solar Cities. I'm TH Culhane, where our motto is, we're not professionals. Please do try this at home. Thanks.